This is the Night Bird, Allison Steele, brought to you by the Army Reserve, and we'll be on the inside track with Richie Fure after this. Richie Fure, his reputation precedes him on a number of different levels, and, and I may be intruding upon your privacy, but I can't pass without asking you to answer this for me. The rumor is that there will be a reunion of Poco. Do you want to talk about that? Certainly. It's okay with me. Is it true? Uh, no, it's not true. Uh, I saw Poco about a year, I guess about a year and a half ago. And at the time, I did discuss it with Tim and George that it might be fun to maybe get together and do a little tour. Since then, uh, Tim has gone on to join Eagles, and George has uh, gone off on his own. Rusty and Paul, as far as I know right now, are in the studio and are making an album that they were going to call the Cotton Young Band, but have since decided to go ahead and call themselves Poco. Um, I think at one time it would have been really a lot of fun to just get together and play with the guys. I did sing with them a couple times uh, during that period that I saw them about a year and a half ago, and it was a lot of fun. Doesn't bother you that they're continuing the Poco name? Or um, no, I think it's going to be different. I mean, quite a bit different. I really do think that when it was Rusty, Paul, George, and Tim, they still maintained enough of what Poco was all about. With it just being Paul and Rusty, it'll be a different band. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you think it would be smarter to take a new name? Yeah, but I think they also know that it would be harder, you know, as to far as uh, to sell the product. Six or one half doesn't the other. Yeah. Richie Fure, who has uh, been on his own, this is uh, his current album. Uh, and, of course, I never think about the album title because the, the Fure name is uh, so important. Their Dance a Little Light, that's number two solo. Right. And, uh, Richie, you're, you've almost had to start over again. Mm. I have started over. Yeah. That's really where it's well, at right you were, you, Although they're your friends, you were an opening act last night for the Dirt Band. Mm -hmm. um, could you try to separate your feeling of friendship? How would that feel if, it was, if band you didn't know? Um, what does it do to your head? Well, I've really put myself in a place where I know that I'm an opening act again right now. I'm out trying. People know the name Buffalo Springfield. They know the name Poco but they really aren't quite familiar with the individual names. And even though I've been making, I've made 16 albums and I've been around for quite a few years, it is starting over. And I did take a lapse of about two years when I didn't play yeah. uh, a lot. And people forget real fast. And so uh, it is starting over and I've accepted that. Uh, we drive around in a van right now. We've been playing some small clubs in which I was really, you know, a little leery of how I would like that. But what it's done, it's really tightened my band up and we've been, become very close and I'm excited right now. Yeah, and as far as playing with the Dirt Band, you know, we've switched places numerous times where they've opened up for I Poco thought so, and, yeah. and uh, I've opened up for them or even, even Poco's opened up for them too. Mm. I thought so. I, uh, that's uh, why well, I thought I, I asked you to try and separate it in your head. Actually, what you're saying is like you're being reborn, really, so that you can't Basically, resent it. That's it, yeah. yeah what, a, what, what a wonderful thing to have a second time around. <laughs> Richie, you, um, you've been in the music business and, and a personality to be reckoned with uh, since the very early days of rock. Um, what's, happened, what's happened to, uh, uh, to the music that you feel could have been avoided? You know, we're, at a, we're at kind of an impasse today musically. I really don't like to look at it as if anything could have been avoided mm. because I'm, I'm not the kind of person that goes out and tries to plan anything in my own life. Mm. So I don't like to look ahead and see, well, if this would have gone this way, mm. it could have been over here because the way it is is the way it's gone. That's true. And um, to really tamper with that and change that, um, I'm not the one to really do that. I mean, I think what I think the thing that's good about music right now, though, is that it's not limited. That's music true. Music is on a scale where you can do just about anything. That's true. And what's funny, though, is uh, 
the new wave of music, people that think, I mean, they think it's brand new, it's actually music that's as old as, uh, you know, going back to when rock and roll, when the wow. guy plugged in his first electric that's guitar right. and just made a raw sound. That's, hey, this is... That's, <laughs> and as recently as uh, the early part of progressive rock, uh, Iggy, Iggy Pop, Iggy Stooge, right. and NRBQ, Brooklyn Bridge, there were dozens of groups like that, so there really is nothing new under the sun. It's um, an interesting way to look at it. It's kind of an attitude, like you say, what is is, and you can't change it, and it could have been a lot worse. <laughs> it could have been. <laughs> a kind of, in my mind, and I think a lot of people, uh, both with Buffalo Poco, a lot of the work you've done, uh, of, uh, of um, was that by design? Is that... Uh, Richie, you've been uh, you've been a homogenous kind of musician, and I think probably that's why your appeal's so broad. It's a little country, a little pop, a little rock. What are your origins as far as part of the country, and would that influence? Well, I grew up in Ohio, and I think when I was a little a little guy, uh, my parents liked to listen to country music quite a bit. My dad especially, but I don't really feel that my influence. I really liked New York, New York, what I would call street singing like Dion and the Belmonts yeah. and the Dovells and then the Drifters. Uh, I really liked harmonies and it did.